Hey everyone, it's Shayna, and I am here with something that I have been asked multiple times now to do. Um, this is a tutorial on how to use Canva. There are so many things that Canva can do, and let me clarify right now, not sponsored, just doing this because I've been asked a couple times by people. Um, and so I'm hoping that this is going to be kind of quick, but um, I have the free version of Canva. You can do Canva Pro, but I don't know the specifics on that because I have zero need to do it. Um, I know that you can get, you know, certain fonts, certain pictures, certain templates and stuff that way, but I haven't found the need for it yet. I've been able to find everything with the free version, so I'm not going to talk about that today. I'm just going to talk about the free version and how to create your own, I guess, I don't know if I want to call it a dashboard. I don't know. You could create all kinds of things with this, so... Um, this is what you come into when you are logged in. You have all kinds of things. You can see your designs. You can see all kinds of different, um, like you can do a business card, a Facebook cover, Instagram post, all kinds of things here. But what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to start with a brand new design. Okay, so I'm going to do a custom size. And the very first thing you need to do is, unless you operate in pink pixels, if you want to print this out on like an actual piece of paper, the first thing you need to do is change this to inches from pixels to inches or centimeters, depending on where you're at. Um, for me, I change it to inches because what happens is if you do 5.5 by 8.5 here, which isn't a thing, um, you have to change it to inches after and then it automatically converts it for you. So you need to change this to inches first. So I'm going to do 5.5 by 8.5 and create new design. So here we are in the design section. So you can see on the left side here, there are a bunch of templates. This is the first thing that I do when I come in here is unless I have something specific in mind, I come in here and I look for a template. Usually um, I, I'll either search through what's here, just like the popular stuff right now, like that's really cute. You could make a dashboard out of this, like a table of contents or something. God, that'd be cute. Okay. <laughs> Can I save this? Add to likes. I like that. Okay. Um, the other thing I tend to search for is minimal. So I'm actually going to do this right here. And did I Let's just make sure everything's gone off of here? Otherwise, I'd have a ton of layers. So here is a very, very simple layout. You can search for all kinds of things that you're, you know, kind of looking for. What I do is I look for a template that is in the design that I like. I don't worry about the specific fonts. I don't worry about the specific colors. I don't worry about the specific pictures. I just look for something that has a design that I like. I like this design, so I'm going to go with this one. Might or might not go with the photos, but we're going to go with that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go look for photos. And in here, they'll show you a ton of trending photos. These are all, for the most part that I'm seeing here, free photos. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for cozy. And if you see this little crown here, that means that's a pro only image. So you have to have Canva Pro in order to use those pro images. Everything that doesn't have that little crown on it can be used here. So, um, I don't know, let's just get a couple galaxy images, I guess. So the cool thing is that you can just take this photo click it and drag it to the one, the specific box you want to switch out. And it automatically puts it in there. If you double click it, you can actually adjust it. So there we go. There's a photo. Otherwise, if you just click it, it just pops it into the screen. So if you're trying to work within the confines of a specific template, the best thing you can do is to click and drag something there. Um, I'm not going to do like a whole design or anything, but uh, just kind of a couple, I don't know, random galaxy items, I guess. I don't know why I'm being particular about this. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> I'm not actually keeping this, but, um, and then maybe I'll look for clouds. 
just because I don't know. I'm really, really into clouds and the galaxy right now. If you couldn't tell by like my my feed right now, <laughs> my planner especially. And then I don't know what do I want to do in the middle. Uh, I don't love. Can we find something for love? Sure, we'll do that. There we go. I don't know. <laughs> we'll go with it. Um, the other thing you can do is you can actually add elements. So there's a bunch of shapes you can add in here, picture frames, you can add the stickers, you know, they, they're more for like animations, lines, different featured, um, items here. Um, well, I guess these animated stickers, there's other stickers below. You can also add text. So one of the things that I like to do is just grab a random grouping because what they actually do is they have various again various templates there's the one I just used so you can actually add these and then you can change them for what you want so obviously I don't want love and joy from the Millers <laughs> on mine I'm just gonna move this up a little bit I may change this a little bit but that's kind of what I'm going for here so this is grouped together the easiest way to ungroup it, there's two options. You can either right click it, because I am on a PC. I'll show the, I'll, I'll try to show the mobile version later. But if you right click it, you can go right here to ungroup. There's also a shortcut. I never, I'm not in here enough to remember that. The other thing you can do is if you uh, click and drag, you can actually highlight them and group them together specifically. Otherwise, if you go up here, there is an ungroup. So if I want to grab all these and group them. There we go. Now they'll all move together. So I want these ungrouped for the moment because I like this font, but I'm not the biggest fan of it. Again, if there's this little yellow crown, I'm pointing at my screen like you can see me. Oh my goodness. This little crown here, those are fonts that you have to have Canva Pro for. And you can also upload your own font with Canva Pro. But otherwise, they have a ton of free options. So I, again, haven't really had the need to do Canva Pro. I'm also not in like marketing. So I guess there's that too. If you were in marketing, it might be a different story. But um, so there, I, I kind of like that. So I'm going to go with, I'm going to go with connect. Let's just, let's try that. And then I can select the whole thing and bring my font down to, actually fit on the line here. There we go. So there's my word of the year, connect. And then, do I want this? I don't know if I actually want that. I don't think I do. I'm gonna add to join, link, or fasten together. Unite or bind. And that's kind of one of the, um, definitions of connect the other thing I can do that um what do I want to do this I can do that and then I can actually say to establish communication be between and I'm I kind of am trying to do this like I'm actually going to use this close to someone nice someone So this would be kind of a nice uh, a nice way to have your word of the year. So if you want to get images that kind of go with connect and then, or you know, whatever word you have, and then you can add your definitions down here. So there we go. Um, the other thing that you can do is I don't necessarily like this background. So if you click on the background and then click up here on this background color, you can actually change the color of your document and you can either do default colors you can choose your own color or even enter in your own hex code or what you can do is they'll actually do colors from various photos and you can select those colors which is pretty neat I don't think I like any of these actually that one's kind of cool but uh, yeah I don't think I like any of those so I might just stick with this yeah I think I'm just gonna stick with that <laughs> um otherwise you can upload your own photo as well I believe yeah, uploads here we go uploads you can upload your own stuff 
the if you don't want to see this sidebar anymore just click this little arrow here and there's also apparently a shortcut to do it but again i'm not in here enough to really to know that by heart anyway maybe someday so if you want to change any options kind of like how i showed here with the text if you click on that specific thing it will bring up the options for that object up on the top left so you can change your font right here you can change your size you can change the color of the font with the same color options but you know I can actually change it to the various colors from my photo or I can change it to something completely different you can make it bold whatever well that's well that's kind of cool you can add different effects to it So there's that as well. You can change the justification of it. So up here on the top right of your like preview, staging, whatever design area, there are a couple buttons here. So you can either add notes to this page, which I never use, but that would be great for if like you're trying to remember something for later or if you're leaving a note for somebody else like if multiple people have the same access to the page otherwise you can duplicate this exact page or you can add a blank page the thing that i do the most often is i actually duplicate the page because i want it to kind of be in the same setup as the page before depending on what i'm doing at least in the same like i don't have to do anything with the fonts then necessarily it's usually just easier and then up at the top here you can either move this up move it down, you can duplicate another page, add a page, or delete that one. You can also go down here at the bottom and there's an add a page here as well. The one thing that does make me wish that I had Canva Pro, and it's, it's not enough to make me get it, but the one thing that I wish I could do is that, let's say you make this for eight and a half by five and a half, right? Let's say you wanna make it for pocket size now. You wanna take this exact same design and size it down to pocket rings right you can't do that <laughs> the resize up here has the crown on it again which tells us that it is a canva pro option so you cannot resize this so the irritating thing is that you know again i'm on pc i don't think you could do this on mobile um, you might be able to possibly on a tablet i don't know i only i only use canva on my pc so I'm not exactly sure how that works, but what I end up doing is I end up having a whole another tab just of another Canva template in the size that I want. You can come here, you can do control all or control A to select everything, control C to copy it all or right click it to copy it. And then you can go into your new one and paste it in and resize it there. That's the only way you can resize things and still keep your same design kind of frustrating but it's not the end of the world I don't mind it I still do it I don't resize things super often anymore so it's not a big deal for me but it used to be when I resize things a lot so let's say I'm done let's say this is the design that I want I'm ready to go what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here to download up on the top right and I'm not sure why it's saying mp4 video i don't have any video <laughs> normally png is what's selected and that's what's suggested but you can also choose jpeg you can choose a pdf svg is again a pro feature but typically what i do is a ping png if you had multiple documents like obviously right now i don't have multiple documents so i can just do i can do download all of these options here all pro options <laughs> but what happens if I have multiple pages if you go here to download you can then either select to print all of your pages or let's say I only want page two you can then do that you can do done download it's downloading it'll be there for me to open and do whatever I want with so there we go that's it 
The uh, the interfa interface is much more streamlined in the mobile version, but it's still fairly functional. I've only popped into the mobile version for like once or twice for something really, really quick. I don't go in there for any heavy designing or anything, which I, I say heavy designing. It's not, it's not that heavy of designing, <laughs> but it, it is still functional. I just, I always prefer the PC version. So that's what this is. Um, so yeah, hopefully that helps. That's, that's basically what I do in Canva. I don't do anything super, super crazy. Um, I do have this that I created um, not too long ago, like last week, I think, for my word of the year. I really like this. And this was a template that I found. I don't even remember how I found it. Was it minimal? I don't, yeah, I don't even remember how I found it. It was a different photo here, I believe. But the, the fonts, uh, all the actual setup of it was mostly there. I did switch a few things around. And then I duplicated it and added a little bit here, but it was all the same design. If you watched my um, three ways to get over first page scaries video, the template actually that I created was just created in here. Like it could be, it could be done by anybody. It is right here, super easy to do. I just created it for those who don't want to create it. Um, but yeah, I've even created sticky notes in here. Like here's a no media March that I did. And I printed this on a just plain white sticky note. All right, here is the mobile version. So in order to start a new template here, you go to the plus down on the bottom right, and then you can either choose, just like uh, the desktop version, you can either choose what you want, or if you go up here to the choose a size where it says 1080 by 1080, you can type in your dimensions here. Again, switch it first to centimeters or inches, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and do the same size that I did the initial one in. And here is your design. So down on the bottom left here is where you can duplicate, which is the middle one, delete on the left. You can um, add on the right, or you, like it says, tap and hold to rearrange pages. To add features is on the right, the plus sign on the right. So in here you have a whole bunch of options, same options as the desktop version, text, image, video, sticker, illustration, template, logos, and page. I'm going to go to template, and here are the exact same templates. So I'm just going to type in minimal, and there's my same design. If I want to go add text, I don't know where that text is that I normally use or that that I had before, but there's all kinds of designs here that you can see. So, I don't know, we're just going to go with that. <laughs> that is that, and then if you want to save it, you can either publish it, save it as, a, as an image, same information you can select how you're going to save it if you had multiple pages it would ask you which page you want and then you click download or you can just click the button just to the left of that and it just automatically downloads the design there we go that's basically it i don't know i don't know what else to <laughs> what else to go over but hopefully that's helpful it would have been helpful for me just starting out because this was, it wasn't super hard for me to get the hang of, but I should have watched a video or something about it first just to eliminate a little bit of time. But it's really, really simple. I know it can be really intimidating though for people who aren't super tech savvy. So um, I have been asked, like I said, this a couple times to share this. So there we be. And that's all I got. So hopefully this was helpful and I, as always, greatly appreciate you being here. Thank you. Thank you so much. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.